we're going to create a 3D model of page 139, figure 13. After we make a 3D model, we're going to create a 2D white paper space, and then we're going to populate it with projected views and apply dimension annotations. To begin, we need to know how big the shape is, and I'm going to concern myself with this bottom portion to start. I need to know how far it travels this way, left to right, how far back it goes, and its thickness. So to make sure I get this accurately done, I'm going to count along the center line first, and each one of these blocks we're going to treat as an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches for this portion along the center line, and then an additional two inches for a total of nine in this direction. This way is four, and the height of this portion is two. In on shape, we'll go ahead and start our model. I'll begin a sketch in the top view in this work plane, and I'm going to create that rectangle. I'm going to start here at this origin point as an anchor, and we'll make this nine inches this way. And I want this to be four. Even though it's rounded on the end, I'm going to begin as a rectangular shape and we'll use the fillet command to create rounded corners. With this much accomplished, I'm going to extrude this rectangle so that it's two inches. At this point, I'm going to turn the visibility off for these other planes. Now I have this portion that sticks up on the left side. And that is going to be, and again, I'm going to go on the center line to make sure I'm accurate here. Two, three, four, it's like five. This appears to have a radius of one, and this has a radius of one, so it's not going to go any higher than this, and this is five units above. And then so on this sketch, on the top surface of this, I'll make a new sketch. And I'm going to create a rectangle. And again, anchoring at the same corner. And I'm just going to make sure that the distance from here to here is two inches. And I'm going to extrude that to be five inches in height. And again, it has corners that are rounded on it and it has a, a notch in the center. And we'll deal with that. But first we just want to block in the rough shape. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take on this sketch on the surface and I'm going to make a new sketch. And I'm going to place two center points. And I'm not giving any thought about where they go because I'm going to fully constrain them with dimensions, dimension constraints. So each of these should be two inches from an edge. And these are three inches apart. Two inches from this end. I can use the whole command for both of these with a diameter of two inches. I can round this corner here and here with the fillet command with a radius of, again, two inches. I'm going to create a sketch on this surface. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to make this rectangle two inches wide. Make sure that it's centered by spacing it one inch from one of these edges, either the front or the back edge. 
and then I have to set the depth of this to three inches. I can finish the sketch and I always like to look at it as an isometric before I extrude. I'll choose that profile. I'm gonna go two inches by removing material and everything else about this shape will be able to accomplish with the fillet command. So I'll choose these edges. I'm gonna choose this edge and I'm gonna use those four edges with a radius of one. It will automatically determine which ones are exterior corners and which ones are interior corners. And that takes care of creating the shape. 